Yeah, Steve, if you live uh, north in Wake Forest or as far south as downtown Raleigh, we're at 540 right off of Capitol here. This is where one of the Duke Energy crews would likely come from to come to you to get your power back on. They tell us that we're really all pretty lucky in all this because the rainfall totals in the last uh, few weeks have been light, so we all have a bit of breathing room in this storm. We also checked in a bit earlier with the city of Raleigh. They sent us these photos uh, of some of their crews out clearing storm drains. I think we have all seen the sheer number of leaves out there on the ground, so that's always a concern that drains could get clogged up easily. Crews have also lowered the levels at Lake Johnson by two feet. Duke Energy today touted its new technology, including this drone. They say this and other new tech allows them to automatically detect outages and reroute power to other systems to restore power faster to you. They said during Ian it really, really helped and they were able to restore 100,000 100, customers automatically. When you have a combination of several inches of rain coupled with gusty winds, that can loosen the soil, bring down big trees. Trees are the biggest culprit during storms that we're going to see outages from. Duke Energy is asking customers if their power is out to communicate with them and they will do the same. Stephen Lauren, back to you. All right, they are ready to go if need be. Josh Chapin in Raleigh tonight.